managed to push back the Wu army to the other side of the Xiongjiang. However, they'll be back once they can get more troops. We're not out of the woods yet. We have just received a report from our scouts. They have spotted an army marching on us from the west. It is being led by Guan Yu. Ugh, of all the times for Guan Yu to show up. Our forces have been pushed to the brink of exhaustion. It will be difficult to fight another battle. We should hole up in the castle and call for reinforcements. No, holing up in the castle will not enable us to overcome the current situation. If we remain in Xiongling, we will eventually have to hold off a pincer attack from both Liu Bei and Sun Chuen. With a new enemy to the west, that is impossible. In that case, what should we do? We cannot just sit back and let them take Zhang Ling. No, we should allow Guan Yu to take Zhang Ling. If we do, there is a chance that it could lead to friction in the alliance between Liu Bei and Sun Xuan. What? Is such a thing even possible? This whole plan is going much too fast for me. Since the Battle of Shibi, Liu Bei strategist Zhuge Liang has been putting him in a position to eventually face Sun Chuen in battle. Therefore, they are certain to want Jing Province as a foothold towards the Central Plains. I cannot imagine that Zhuge Liang would ever give Zhang Ling to Sun Chuen. So, you want to use our current predicament to our advantage and break up the Sun Liao Alliance? Impressive as always, Master Shun Up. Okay, let's move to enact Shun Yo's plan. Withdraw the army to Xiongyang and Xin Ye. If Liu Bei and Sun Xuan's alliance continues to hold up, it will put Master Cao Cao's plans in danger. However, this plot can enable us to avoid that. It is exactly what we need given the situation. Now, let us return to Xu Chong. There is one more thing I must attend to. We worked hard to defend this land, and to now turn it over to the enemy. I know this is all part of our plan, but it hurts all the same. Sao Shou, you are right to feel that way. Yet, that is also the reason that Sun Xuan and they will not think that we abandoned Jiang Ling on purpose. Shun Er's plot might just serve as the basis for our future endeavors. Hmm? I thought I heard something. My lord! Watch out! Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! Go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. I bet there's food there. Okay, boys, it's time to eat. Advance! Do not slow down. Advance! <laughs> Oh! 
Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Cao Cao, brigand who seeks the throne, your selfish arrogance ends here. So, your Mateng of the Unprovence. I never expected you to launch an attack on Xu Chang. Oops. Looks like I messed up. I think discretion is the better part of valor here. Oh, I'm sorry, Father! We can't defeat Cao Cao! Maybe not! We aren't going to give up either! All on the wrong side of this conflict shall pay! By my sword of righteousness! Just you wait and see! My son, Ma Chao, will bring vengeance upon you! My lord! Are you hurt? I am fine. I'm glad you are here. You have my gratitude. Ugh! One of them's getting away! I'll chase him down! Let him go. Ma Tang will learn that his assassination attempt failed soon enough. They'll likely follow up by sending an army from Liang province. Ma Tang's son is the renowned warrior Ma Chao. We must prepare our army and head to Luo Yang. Yes, my lord. I shall see to it at once. It appears Ma Chao and his forces are on the attack. What is the situation like, Wan Yi? Ma Chao, Han Sui, and some others have taken up position at Tong Gate. We attacked them head-on, but were forced to retreat. Currently, we are bolstering our defenses at Luoyang and Pubanjin. I must apologize for failing to hold off Ma Chao. No, I ought to be the one apologizing to you for being so late with the reinforcements. I know why you were unable to come, General. It is not your fault. You ensured that we received the necessary supplies, Master Shaho Yuan. I must thank you. Ah, stop. You're making me blush. We'll take care of Ma Chao. So sit back, get some rest, you hear? I cannot do that. Now that I am relieved of defending Luo Yang, this is my chance to claim Ma Chao's head at last. I see. If that's how you feel, then I suppose it's all right. We are facing a mighty coalition. It would be best if we could somehow drive a wedge between them to weaken their forces. The morale of the troops in front of us is unbelievably high. It will be quite difficult to push them back. How about the north side of Tong Gate? If we could cross the Yellow River, we could strike the enemy from behind. So, we can attack head-on, or cross the river and strike from behind. Either way, it will likely prove to be a difficult battle. However, with Liu Bei currently in Shu, and Sun Xuan in Wu, we must deal with any potential threats before they become a problem. Ma Chao and his followers may have momentum on their side, 
but we will emerge victorious. Master Joshu seems to have a plan. It may help us get through our current predicament. I have a brilliant plan, but nobody to execute it. It would be nice if we could get some help here. <laughs> Thank you. Now, let's get to it. I simply need you to deliver this letter to Han Sui. He will know what to do. Now then, it's time to get going. If this goes as planned, the battle will quickly turn in our favor. Set. Traded the enemy camp all alone. But it seems you have little intention of fighting. Oh, I see. You're here as a messenger? What's that? You have something to give me. What is it? Oh, I see. Master Cao Cao is an old acquaintance of mine. I promise to read this letter. Your letter has been safely delivered. You may consider your duty as a messenger done. Hey, did you see that? Yes, I saw it all. We need to hurry and report this to Lord Ma Chow. Report! Lord Han Sui appears to have made contact with the Wei officer! Surely he hasn't betrayed us. Perhaps it will be dangerous to leave Master Han Sui at Hangu Gate. Send a message to Master Han Sui. Tell him he is to move at once to defend the rear of Tong Gate. Lord Han Sui! A message from Lord Ma Chao. He needs you back at Tong Gate. What? We are to retreat? They must suspect me of treason because I was seen talking with that messenger from Wei. I hope Ma Chao will be prepared to listen to my explanation. But if not, I may have to consider the option of defecting to Wei. Huh. Things turned out nicely. Excellent, Shaho Dun. If we can breach here, it'll be a straight path to the Wei main camp. Here goes nothing. Curse you! How dare you launch a sneak attack on us like that? Don't believe we'll go down without a fight! Come, I'm going to take you someplace nice. Oh. 
That area is too good for the enemy. It'll be put to much better use by us. I'll grind you to dust. That area shall be ours. Claim it at once. You're finished! We're advancing. Everyone follow my lead. That didn't go so well. Sorry about that, young master. Things turned out nicely. All right! Nice going, cousin! Possess a modicum. Yeah. We may have tasted defeat here today, but I will never surrender. I have inherited my father's spirit of loyalty to the Han. You are a traitor, so I will not rest until I have your head. 
He remains defiant following his defeat. But the truth is that Ma Chiao's clan and the other warriors of Liang have nearly been eliminated. They will not rise again. Perfect. We could not ask for a better result from this battle. However, if you tell me you wish to pursue him, Wang Yi, I will not stop you. I know that pursuing him is a suicide mission. I saw the look of despair in his eyes. That is enough to tide me over for now. Besides, I need him to know the sense of loneliness and misery of being all alone. In that case, there is nothing left to say. We have driven off Ma Chao and prevented their attack on Xu Cheng. Now, it is time for us to take the offensive. Our target is Bu's territory of Rushuku. This is where we claim vengeance for Chibi.